Hi friends, uh, this is uh, the second method of finding or evaluating the limits uh, of any expression or any given question, right? That is factorization as you are uh, watching here, <coughs> right? You know, uh, in this problem, we have to use this factorization. This is the second method uh, out of total 13 uh, as I have talked in previous video, right? So if you just plug this value 3 here, what do you will get? I'm just uh, writing in short form, okay? 3 square plus 2 times 3 minus 15 whole divided by 3 square again right plus uh, sorry minus I'm sorry uh, minus 5 times 3 plus 6 you know uh, what you will get this is 9 and uh, 9 plus this is 3 to the 6 so 9 plus 6 15 minus 15 that is 0 and again here 3 square that is 9 9 plus 6 15 15 and uh, minus 5 3 is 15 so it will be 0 so you are getting some undefined value right some infinity value so this is not the way of doing this so here we have to use the factorization method to solve this kinds of problem right after factorization we'll get uh, some real values and we can use uh, using the plugging the value of 3 you can easily calculate or evaluate the limit okay so I'm just factorizing it limit when x tends to 3 now see this is x square plus 2x minus 15 so for the factorization uh, there are many many methods <coughs> now I'm just using a splitting method I have to search here this two numbers search two numbers whose product will be 15 right a dot b whose product should be 15 but addition should be plus 2 but addition should be plus 2 what are those two numbers right I got the number that is 5 times 3 is equals to 15 and 5 plus minus 2 is equals to 3 so one is 5 and another is 3 so what I can write here simply right x square plus 5x minus 3x minus 15 right whole divided by now here again uh, this and this will multiply it will be 6 means I need to again find out such two numbers whose product will be uh, means such two numbers whose product will be 6 but the addition will be minus 5 right but the addition will be minus 5 so what are such two numbers let me search yeah we got that is right that is minus 6 times 1 is equals to uh, the product should be sorry uh, yeah no minus 6 uh, minus 3 no it is not minus 6 minus 1 it's minus 3 times minus 2 equals to 6 and minus 3 plus minus 2 is equals to 5 also uh, equals to minus 5 also so exactly this is minus 3 and minus 2 two points there are so x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 you know we have to find out like this uh, I know you you you're best in uh, factorization you know better than me actually I'm a little bit confusing I used to confuse a lot <laughs> while uh, doing the problems I don't know it's my habit uh, fine uh, here limit x tends uh, to 3 now now here what we, uh, what we're getting we're getting the common here x right so let me take the common x plus 5 it will be now and minus here there is nothing we'll get the common 3 here so it will be minus 3 when take the common it will be x plus 5 right and again here x when you take the common between these two right you'll get x minus 3 and now here what we can take the common minus 2 we can take the common so when we take the minus 2 common it will be again x minus 3 right now again limit when x tends to 3 and now both sides we are getting x plus 5 and x plus 5 so I'm taking the x plus 5 common and now we'll get here I will, I will be left with the x only and here I'm left with the 3 so in the same way x minus 3 is here x minus 3 is here so I'm getting the common x minus 3 here and here I'm left with the x and here I'm left with the 2 right so now you can cut this x minus 3 and x minus 3 in denominator and uh, numerator right so finally what you got finally you get the value uh, that is limit when x tends to 3 x plus 5 and x minus 2 now if you plug the value of 3 then 3 minus 2 that is 1 that is a real number right and you are not getting the 0 upon 0 form that's undefined form. you are not getting this so now you can easily plug this value and you'll get 3 plus 5 3 minus 2 
So 3 plus 5, that is 8, and 3 minus 1, that is 1. So overall, you get the limiting value, that's 8. So uh, our answer is 8. Like this, you know, we have to uh, use the factorization method to find out the limits, right? Or to evaluate the limits. So we'll be doing uh, some more, a uh, couple of problems related to this factorization. And in the third method, uh, after that, we'll be learning the third methods to find out the limit, how to find the limits, okay? We'll be meeting in the next video. Bye-bye.